Come on, Dennis, answer. Den! Your cell phone. Yeah? Someone's calling you. Oh, I'm sorry. Apologize to Rashid, woke him up. Yes, I sure will. Hello, Anna? I'm so sorry for calling this early, but there are strangers at the business center. They're wearing balaclavas and they're armed. They broke in. Hello? Hello? Wait, who are they? Oh, goodness. Oof. The business center security just called. What happened? I don't know. I think somebody snatched the phone from Yura. Anna just called. She said that she saw armed men in masks at the business center. It looks like a hostage situation. Yes. Okay, I understand. We'll do as you say. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'll call you back. Yes, that's what I meant. All right. Marina, what did she say? Carolina said she wants us to stay calm and focus on broadcasting the takeover. We still need to go live right now. Huh? Let me just prop the door with a chair so that those gangsters don't break in. I said don't panic. The management is on their way here and so is the police. Everybody ready because the sooner we go live, then the better. Where's the host? <laughs> They're on this floor. Right. Halia, you're on. Are you serious? Come on, you'll have to do it. I can only present the weather. Oh, what if I say something wrong? Everybody to their stations. Oh my god. <sighs> One minute. <gasps> <gasps> Attention. Everybody ready. We're live. Hello, viewers. This is breaking news. We're broadcasting live from the Maria TV studio. An illegal takeover is now taking place here at the business center where our studio's located. It's a group of men wearing masks, and they're armed. The takeover started at 7 a.m. The attackers are trying to take over the entire business center by storm, including Tricassi Silicatwood and Maria TV channel. Come on, Marina, answer the phone. Yes. Hello, Anna. Yes, I know. They're covering it live. What else do you know? Yes, I'm home. I'll see you soon. We don't know exactly who these people are and what their motive is. Right now, dozens of business center employees are being held hostage one of our security guards was hurt trying to stop the attackers. It looks like he's badly wounded. Right now, the attackers have just broken into our studio. There are five of them. They just announced that they're being attacked, and now I can't prevent the police from going to the business center. A squad is coming. All right, then. Bon appetit. Olya. Petro won't be back in a while. We have loads of orders. Someone needs to cover for him. Oh, work in the kitchen. And I'll serve the food. Okay. You're back? Oh. The early bird always gets the worm. So tell me, how are you guys doing in here? Are there enough orders? More than enough. Tell me how she is. She's fine. Oh, she already checked in for her flight. I'll, I'll get to work. Oh, thank God. Hello. Oh, yeah. Don't you think that Petro is acting weird? Petro's fine. Don't get yourself all worked up. Or me, or Petro. Get back to work. All right. <clears throat> Hello, honey. How are you? Are you okay? Yes, I'm boarding the plane soon. That's great. Have a safe trip. 
Give me a call when you get there. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's too bad that my sister left. I'll miss her so much. I hate lying to her. You didn't have a choice. How do you think your mom would react if you told her that you weren't going anywhere? That's right. Thank you for supporting me. I should be the one to... who should be comforting you. When will Marina be back? I don't know. Let me ask her. She says she's giving her statement to the police. Maybe they'll let her go soon. She said the attackers were stopped. Carolina and Dennis are at the station, sorting things out. This is all so weird. First the accident at the construction site, and now a takeover. And... And? Well, I can't be 100% sure, but I saw that car when everything started. Which car? Riori's car. Yana stepped out of it yesterday. Yana? Mm-hmm. Wait a second. Are you saying Yana was involved in the attack on the business center? Well, I'm not sure. I don't think she could have organized it. It's not her caliber. I'm worried about her being released from the psychiatric hospital so soon. She didn't tell us she was coming home. She just came back as if nothing happened. And so? There's someone behind her, helping her. Someone powerful. I don't know. Maybe you should talk to her doctor from the psychiatric hospital. What was his name again? Uh, do you remember? I forgot his name. His last name isn't that easy to forget, though. Napivada, let me look him up. I think it will be easy to find his number with a name like this. Okay. Mm. What about your work in Krakow? Won't there be problems because you stayed? No, I called them. They gave me a few more days. Yes, here it is. Maxime Napivoda. It's his phone number at the hospital. If Anna didn't call us, we would still be trying to figure out what was happening. If not for her, we wouldn't go on air. Those bastards have been preparing for it. Remember the glitch a while back? While our servers were out, they hacked into the documentation and changed it to their name. Do we know whose name it is? No, it's more complicated. Apparently, the names on the documents are fake. I decided to turn to SBU, otherwise we will never find the culprit. I've already asked someone to check our competitors. Can someone explain what's going on? stand here and think that I'll be washing dishes for the rest of my life. It's so boring. Yana, I'm sorry, but that's life. If you try to relax, you'll find yourself having fun. You might even start to like it. Maybe. Yes, hello? Hello, darling. I miss you so much, my sweet little Miss Sunshine. I miss you too. I'm in Cherkasi and you're not. I have a surprise for you. I'm in Cherkasi. I've sent myself on a business trip. Speak up. Will I see you tonight? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Darling, I... I just wanted to surprise you. But I can't. My mom watches me all the time. She's been controlling me. We're at the restaurant now, and then we'll go home together. I wish you gave me a warning. I would have thought of something. Tomorrow? I can't promise you anything. I'll call you as soon as I think of a plan. Just don't be upset about tonight, okay? Mm, bye. Who was it? 
It was my doctor. He wanted to know how I was. Mm -hmm. Do I have to tell you about the details of my phone calls now? Don't be mad. I just thought something was wrong. Come on. No, I'm all right. Thank you. Good afternoon. I was hoping to speak with Maxim Napivoda. Oh, I see. My sister, Yana Matvienko, was his patient. He's in Tricassi for business? When is he coming back? No, no, message. I'll call again when he's back. I appreciate your help. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye-bye. He's in Tricassi. Yeah, I heard. That's great. You can talk in person. Yes. Now we only need to find out where he is staying. I'll call some hotels. And I'll pay Yana a visit. What for? I want to know how and why she left the hospital so soon. Also, I'll ask her about her plans for the future. You might scare her. She might be up to something. I'll be subtle. Do you think she'll want to talk to you? I think she will. She made me a cripple. She owes me one. She won't say no. All right. It must be one of our competitors. We need to check each and every one. We're already working on it. I've given orders. That's good. What do we know by now? Nothing concrete. The attackers themselves don't know who the client is. We need more information. Let's keep looking for clues. That's right. Okay, keep working. I have to go to Kiev to meet with my sources. Okay, meanwhile I'll call General Chernyavsky. I hope he'll help us this time. It's not just about replacing an investigator. Pavel Yuryevich? Not quite, Dennis. It's Marina. Can you please give the phone to your father? They took him for a scan. I don't think you're calling to ask about his health, though. I'm sorry. I will call again later. We'll have to try to talk to him later. Okay, I will have to head to the sports complex right now. I'll contact you later. Keep me updated. Halia, you were fantastic! <laughs> yes, but I was shaking like crazy. I don't know how I managed not to stutter. It was a perfect coverage. You are the company's hero. <laughs> she was just in the right place at the right time. I don't know what's so heroic about that. Can you keep your opinions to yourself at least for today? Halia, congratulations. I have good news for you. Let me guess. You'll get praise for your sloppy coverage. You'll be a news anchor starting today, if you don't mind. Really? Really. Oh my god, of course I don't mind. Thank you. <laughs> Colleagues, it's time to get to work. We are shooting at 11. Hello. I'm glad to see you. Hello? Tanya, you're not gonna believe this. I'm going to be a news anchor. <laughs> Good day. Good day. Excuse us for the chaos on the set. It was an intense morning here. Yes, we saw the news. It was horrible. I'm so glad it's over. Shall I show you to the makeup room? We're starting in 30 minutes. Don't worry. I'm sure the show will be a success. I know there's nothing to be worried about, but I'm still nervous. Don't you worry, Mom. I'm just right here. Is it okay if I stay here and watch the whole shooting? Of course. Mm Hello, Maxim Vladimirovich. Thanks a lot. 
It's really great to deal with a pro. I hope the second examination will put an end to it. I hope so too. Thank you again. You're welcome. It's me, Dennis. Do you have the results of the re-examination? Yes, I do. You know, I think it's time now to start the criminal proceedings regarding the sabotage flooring at the construction site. Don't worry, Mr. Dobrovolsky. We will proceed according to the law. I really hope so. Can you tell me if you have any possible suspects in mind? None. Goodbye for now. I'm sorry I didn't call in advance. Were you expecting someone? No, don't worry about it. You know, you have a fleeting resemblance to your sister. Well, if you know about our plastic surgeries, you must know it's more than a fleeting resemblance. I apologize for being so insensitive about that topic. I know what you had to go through after the accident. Do you want to ask me something? Yes, it's about my sister, Yana. I'm listening. I wondered why her case had been reconsidered by the medical board so soon. As far as I know, it usually takes a few months, correct? Right. So you... have a problem with the system working quickly and consistently? Or with a healthy person not being held back at our hospital? You know, usually, families have complaints for opposite reasons. No, that's not what I meant. We're happy that Yana is healthy, and she's back with us now. But she's going to stay with us, and there's a baby in the house. What do you want me to say? I want to know if a setback is highly possible. You must understand why I'm worried. She has killed a person, attempted to kill several others, and she ordered people to be killed. I completely understand where you're coming from. But I'd like to emphasize that our medical board, as well as everyone else at our establishment, is highly capable and highly professional. So you really should not have any doubts, that is, regarding Yana's sanity. But of course, in theory, setbacks are possible. And that is why Yana is still a registered outpatient. If you're so worried about a setback, I could make some calls to your home to observe her interactions with her family. I don't think that's necessary. Thank you for being open with me, and again, I'm sorry for coming to you without an appointment. It's okay. Have a nice day. AIDS is surrounded by fallacy. Some believe it's a death sentence. Others are afraid of being around patients with AIDS because they think that it can be easily transmitted by air. As a result, everyone suffers. Healthy people because they are scared and AIDS patients because they are being ignored and avoided. Today's guest, Lada Fomenko, a painter, agreed to come to our studio after a shocking interview that had been unfortunately aired on Maria TV. Lada will tell us about living with AIDS in our country, about art therapy, and her own art. Talk to us. Good day, everyone. I've had AIDS for almost half of my life. When I first got diagnosed, I became very desperate. What rescued me from my depression is my art and my family and loved ones. Thank goodness. What I'm doing now, which is art therapy, is aimed at bringing the joy of life back to the people. Oh, just look at your parents, Risha. Your mom, your father. They abandoned you with your granny and went God knows where. Isn't that wrong? Mother, you shouldn't. They're having problems at work. 
Look, we're being sued. By whom? Hello. Hi, son. Hello. Risha, look who's here. It's your uncle. Uncle Dennis. Say hello to him. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma. Mom, we won. The independent evaluation confirmed the sabotage at the sports complex site. Thank God. Son, look. You've got a subpoena. A woman named Stella Biovska. Who's this? A woman who was hurt in the accident. Mm. Compensation of damage. I see. Don't worry, I'll deal with it. Hello, Dennis. Little Risha's dinner. Mashed vegetables. No salt. Katerina, who do you think I am? Hey, watch it. No salt. <laughs> Excuse me, the door was open. Andre, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Sort of. Please, come sit. Join us for tea. No, thank you. I'm here on business. Is Yana home? Andre, I beg you, please don't do this. You know, Olya, I'm not here to seek revenge. It's something else. I need to ask her about something. That's all. Let me answer for her. If you want to know how she's doing, she's completely recovered and is trying to start a normal life, which isn't easy, as you may know. I understand. That's why I'm asking. But you have to understand me, too. It wasn't exactly... Easy for me to come here as well. It's a small town and I'm very worried. For the people close to me. What if they're in danger? Andre, please don't push her. I promise. I won't, but if she's really cured, it won't do her any harm. I can assure you that she's cured. I want to speak with her. I heard some voices. What's going on? What do we have here? Chicken with white sauce and vegetable soup. I'll also make some eclairs. Ryuri used to love them. Please, no soup. Risha didn't like it. Risha. Okay. Risha. No soup. Risha. Okay. Risha. Very well. Open, open, up, up. The menu is ready. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, um, um. May um. I go now? Oh. Ooh, very good. good. See you then. Boy. See you. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Good night. Thank mm. you. Bye bye. Oh, Risha, Jana is leaving now. Very good, my sweetheart. It's already been three years, but it still hurts. As it did that day. We loved Risha. We still love him and remember him. And we always will. My dear son. Psychologists say that time heals wounds. But I can't. I can't bear to accept it. Yes, yes, Risha. Valeria. Darling. Someone to live for. Yes. We're finished with the porridge, right? Good boy. Very good, Risha. <laughs> I finally realized how selfish I used to be. I didn't appreciate you. I'm sorry for everything I did to you. I know you better than anyone. Don't do this. Don't you believe me? Well, you should. You can't imagine what I've gone through. I've spent three years in a loony bin with those psychos. 
But I didn't lose hope. I wanted to be better. And now... Dennis... didn't leave me anything. Anything at all. All I can do now is live off my mother. I'm trying to earn my keep here. Even though she's the reason why I'm like this, I still help out at the restaurant. I'm not holding any grudges. I simply want to live. Yes? Are you okay? You're okay. I got my answers. This time I planned everything thoroughly. We have enough money to rent the bakery. And as for expanding it, we'll have to think about it. Jana, I suggest that we open a bakery of our own. Yours and mine. I don't know, I'm not completely sure. On the other hand, she's fine. Nothing has changed. She's still selfish and self-absorbed like she's always been. And I'm not surprised. She doesn't want to go back to jail. Hmm. Oh well. I don't think that she's dangerous. That's what her doctor said. But he was acting weird. He looked tense. On the other hand, I came unannounced. Anyone would get nervous. He wasn't expecting anyone. What now? Back to Krakow. Everything has been sorted out. Dennis took care of the attack. Yana seems okay, so I don't need to stay. Forgive me, but why don't you just stay here with Dennis? I thought about it. We loved each other once before, but everything has changed so much. Maybe we're not meant to be. Oh. Good day. Good day. Shall we? Mm hmm I was happy to see you. Are you going back to Poland? Yes. Have a nice trip. Thank you. Text me when you get there, okay? Bye. Bye. Mom was super brilliant on TV. She was a star. Oh, come on now. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Excuse me. Hello? When you're there, keep texting me. I've replaced my phone's battery, so now I'm always gonna be online. Let me see how long this one will last, with the amount of texting you're doing. Thank you. It's a very interesting proposal. Thank you. Um, who was it? This is so unexpected. The Happy City Charitable Fund called and offered a cooperation. They saw me on TV and they were very impressed with my work. Oh, that's great. What's the project? An art therapy and mental health project here in Cherkasi. Can you believe it? <laughs> that is it's so cool. <laughs> yes. Sounds like the project of your life is going to happen after all. Yes. 
Great job, Mom. Congratulations! <laughs> Listen, let me call a taxi for us. It's just one click on my phone. Come on. I'm not that tired. Let's go for a stroll. Hmm? Have you taken your painkillers today? No, not today. Are you fine without it? Yes. Don't worry. I don't really need it. I'm in no pain. <laughs> Almost. <sighs> it's as if you were born again after she came back here. You've started walking. You're alive. As if you've just recovered from a long sleep. Your new hairstyle suits you. Does it? In fact, I've had it for a week now. But thank you for noticing. Slow down, I can't catch up. <laughs> I didn't leave today. I'll go tomorrow. Can I see you in the morning? Yes? Hi, baby. Did I wake you up? Yes, you did. I'm so sorry. I'm leaving soon. I wanted to see you before I go. Can you possibly come out even just for a minute? Not today. Mom's watching me. Maybe later, okay? But when? I said I was leaving. When you come back. Just call me first, okay? Bye. Good morning, honey. Good morning, Mom. Where are you going? For a walk. This early? Mm, the doctor strongly recommended some morning walks. Wait, let me come with you then. Don't you trust me? Can't I go out by myself? Why does everybody suspect me of something? Even my own mother. Nobody suspects you of anything. If you want to go for a walk, by all means. Okay, I'll go straight to the restaurant afterwards, all right? Okay. She's convinced everyone that she isn't dangerous. I can go back to Poland. But please be careful. You never know. Thank you for caring. I will. Don't you regret your move? No, not at all. I like it in Krakow. A nice city and a great job. People are friendly there. How are you? I'm all right. I often go abroad on business. My schedule is full for the whole year. The holding takes up almost all of my time. Still go to jazz concerts? No. Why? You're not there. Sorry, I have to go pack my things. Let me take you. Good morning. Good morning. Why are you upset? Don't you know why? The Dobrovolsky's holding shares were supposed to go down after the takeover. And I was going to buy them. I thought you said you finished buying them out after the accident. Not quite. There are still some minor shareholders left. The whole caboose with the takeover was designed for them. I would have accumulated 49% of the shares. Now I won't be able to. Uh, but you have the money. Great ideas demand great expenses. And sometimes, 
even sacrifices. Let's get to our final plan. Now, there's nothing left to wait for. Okay. And today, my lawyers will bring a suit against Denis Dobrovolsky on your behalf. According to the law, you have the right to get 50% of the money and other assets he acquired during your marriage, which is most fortunate. Because while you were married, this idiot bought a 5% share in his father's holding. Now do the math. My shares, almost 49%, and plus your golden 2.5%, voila. I am going to get the majority. We will. What? You're mistaken. You said you were going to get the majority shares. I've corrected you. We will get it. Do you realize who you're talking to? Yes. Without me, a person like you wouldn't get enough shares to rob. The Dobrovolsky's just like that. All right. I've long noticed that you have a deep hate for the Dobrovolskys. Otherwise, why would you help me? I started helping you much earlier. Everybody believed I was Anna. And Dennis married me. You... You... Uh... You can't imagine how much you have done for me. That's why I helped you avoid going to prison. Take a seat. Why the hell should I? If you don't want to go to prison, then you have to sit down. A loony bin isn't a walk in the park, but it's way better than going to prison. Just say, that you've been hearing voices. What voices? The voices telling you to kill Victor Buhai and the others. And right now you have hallucinations too. You see someone chasing you and following you all the time. Someone evil and scary. Do you get it? Why are you really helping me? I'll tell you. See you later. Goodbye. You never told me about what that family did to you. I'm sure it's not just for the holdings money. I'm pretty sure it's personal. I promise I'll tell you one day, when the holding is ours. But for now, I need to go to Kiev to buy the shares. They're beautiful. I wanted to say that I'm really grateful to you. We wouldn't be able to withstand the takeover if not for you. Yes, I think it was good timing. To tell you the truth, I called just in case. I was sure you already knew, since I saw that your car was parked near the holding. Which car? The one your father used to drive. It belongs to Miki. Wait a second. He was in Kiev. Right. A day before that, I saw my sister coming out of that car. But I didn't see who was in the driver's seat. I'm, I'm sorry, I have to run. Do you promise to wait for me? Do you promise to be here when I come back? Where are you? Promise me. Okay, but... Okay, Petro. This is for gas. You've used half of your tank. The tank is full. How come? After you've been to Borispil? Oh. <laughs> Petro, did you go to the airport? Here's your doggy. Oh, here's the doggy. Yep. I did. You. You promised me. You swore you wouldn't lie to me. 
You think I don't know? <coughs> At least don't do it in front of the kid. <coughs> Mirosia, your daddy is lying again. Maybe daddy doesn't love mommy anymore. Maybe he's seeing someone. Oh, please. What are you saying? In front of her. Her father isn't seeing anyone, not at all. This? Mm -hmm. This one? Were you at the airport yesterday? Look me in the eye. Han is still in Cherkasi. She didn't leave yet. She asked me not to tell anyone. Even Olya? Even Olya. Good day. I'm sorry, I, I didn't call ahead. Do you remember me? I am Dr. Maxim. I used to be Yana's doctor. Yes, of course I remember. Please come in. I'm in Chikasi on business, so I thought I'd drop by and check on my dear patient. She's okay. Yana isn't home, though. She went on a morning walk a while ago. That's too bad. I'm so sorry for barging in. It's okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. This one is for your daddy. Come on for daddy, come on. Um. Hi, Dan, where are you going? See you, I'll be going to Kiev. It's an emergency. Tell Vadim I left. Okay, but why? I'll be back tomorrow, around noon. Just don't tell anyone except for Vadim, okay? Okay. Especially Mikita. Yeah, sure. Mm. Good luck. Ooh, come on, one more. Come on, honey. Hello, Maxim. I thought your mother wouldn't let you out of her sight. I saw her. If she kept an eye on you, then she wouldn't be so relaxed. Do you walk with that guy every morning? Maxim, I said I had an errand. Hmm. He was being nice and offered me a ride, that's all. So you can go out on an errand, but you cannot meet with me, is that correct? Maxim, tell me, why are you making a scene? Right here in the middle of the street. Do you know what you're doing? Calm down first, then maybe we'll talk. Anna came to see me. When? Why? Yesterday. She was worried about you. I reassured her. You sure? Yesterday? You have to be very careful with her. I'm fairly certain that she's up to something. I was careful, don't worry. Where did you go with him? Who is he? Maxim, can... You stay in Tricassi a bit longer. I'll make time to see you and explain everything. Okay? <laughs> 